Hey guys, it's me Chris here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown on the components I have in my computer. Now I definitely get this question asked to me multiple times throughout the day. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and set straight in. Alright guys, so the main things I use my computer for are just really editing and gaming. Now, I don't generally game on my computer, it's generally just made around um, editing. So, the first thing that I've got and the main thing is my case. Now, this is the Zalman Z11 guys. Um, before I go into other, all the other components, um, everything will be linked in the description below. Now, this is a really nice case, it offers a lot of space, especially for the, if you're a first time uh, builder of a PC. Um, which I was and it worked really well and it came with all the different tools you needed straight away I think you can pick it up for around 42 maybe 42 pounds 45 pounds on Amazon and like I said it'll be linked in the description really great case now looking back though I think I would have gone with a different case um, the design is really nice but it's personally something I wouldn't go for um, if I was making another computer but definitely if you're looking to make a computer and you're a first time builder I'd still definitely recommend it as it's very easy to um, or set build with the only problem I do have is at the front where you've got um, like the ports and everything if you pull that it's actually quite hard to get off so just a little bit of a negative but overall a really great case if you're a first time builder of a PC or if you like the design I do definitely recommend it now I'm doing this in a random order, so the next thing is my processor. So I have the AMD FX8350 um, Black Edition 8-core processor. Now the reason I went for this is, like I said, editing. So it's going to be better if you, as you've got four cores. Or I think there's eight cores, sorry. But I think you've got four cores and then you've got four additional... I don't know how it works, but to be honest, it works really well for what I need. Um, and like I said, the editing works really well, so really happy there. Um, I was going to go for an Intel Core i5 processor, um, quad core once again, but there were a few things that led me to getting the AMD, such as it was a little bit cheaper, and like I said, with editing, it works slightly better. So, yeah, really happy of my purchase on that. So, the next thing that I have in my PC build is the Samsung 840 Evo 120GB 2.5 inch basic SATA drive. So, this is an SSD, guys, so it gives you an outstanding performance. Um, and I have an operating system on here, as well as Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Bridge, Photoshop, that kind of thing. So it works really well. And for all those high demanding programs, um, it definitely works and gives you much more performance. So really recommend upgrading to an SSD if you haven't already done so. I mean, if you're looking at actually making a computer, I definitely recommend putting an SSD in there. So the next thing I have in my build is the Corsair Vengeance Low Profile 16 gigabyte DDR3 1600 megahertz memory. So I went for 16 gigabytes RAM as it just gives you more, I wouldn't say performance, but just gives you better multitasking, um, especially when you're doing things like I said, editing. So yeah, I definitely recommend that guys. Um, and there's probably gonna be loads of you right now commenting that I'm saying stuff wrong. I'm not a huge computer genius. Um, so these are just the things that I have on my computer. So the next thing is my graphics card. So I have the ASUS NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760. Um, direct CU 2 OC 2 gigabyte um, graphics card. Um, now I was looking at getting the what was this one? This is the 760. Yeah, I was looking at getting the 770, um, and the reason I went for the 760 was just price, really. So I might do um, or get another um, 760 and then connect those together to give me more performance. Um, and I know there's actually a few of you um, that are subscribed to the channel and if you're watching this video make sure you go ahead and comment below um, if you recommend any type of graphics card that's a very good price I and mean, great for editing and just high demanding tasks. So the next thing is my PCU or power supply. So this is the Corsair um, CX750 Builder Series uh, PSU and it works really well, it gives you 750 watts of power so there's no need to worry there. I also have the ASUS M5A 99X EVO R20 motherboard which works really well um, and the BIOS works really well as well so it's really easy uh, to get around all the different parts on the BIOS um, and as far as setting up for the first time it works really well and was a very easy process. So a slight negative of this motherboard has to be the fact that there's no uh, type of video ports on there. You have got your audio ports and 3.5mm headphone jacks 
Um, but as far as HDMI ports goes, there's nothing like that. So that's quite a limitation in some cases, but I've got, got all those on my um, graphics card anyway, so I haven't got to worry there. As far as my hard drive goes on my main hard drive, I have the WD one terabyte, three and a half inch internal hard drive. Now, I'm gonna be upgrading um, to further drives in the future, so I'll probably put a few four terabyte drives in there because I just see my video editing um, just taking up pretty much all the space on my drive. So I'll probably be up, um, upgrading to a few more drives in the future. But for the time being, that's the drive I'm using. I also have the LG Electronics GH2N S95 DVD rewriter, which works really well. It's just a standard DVD writer. Um, and I picked this up for something like 15 quid on eBay. So it works really well. eBay? No, Amazon. Um, and it works really well. Uh, like I said, and just a general DVD writer really. It's no Blu-ray kind of capabilities there, but it works for what I need. Now as far as operating system goes, I'm using Windows 7. Now I'm using Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1, I think it is, 64-bit. Works really well, um, and I prefer it more to Windows 8, mainly because um, of the more simple design and it's more compatible um, with programs so that's the operating system that I am using and so far really happy with what it offers. So there are the main things that I have in my PC build now we'll be shortly upgrading um, to some more PC fans or I'll be changing the PC fans that I currently have. Now the ones that I do have in my PC build are the ones that came with the case so I'll be upgrading those to I think they're by Corsair they're like super silent fans um, so hopefully getting some sponsors on board for that but yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, once again, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Big thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.